great to be back uh, to work this week. Um, get a chance to continue to build and keep some of this momentum that we have. Um, of course, uh, after watching the tape, we found some things that you know we can get better at, and we're going to continue to address those areas. But uh, we're excited to come away with the win that we had last week, and we're excited uh, you know, to be moving forward. And we know that we have a tough opponent coming in this week in Tampa, coming off a, a huge win for themselves. So we understand that you know it's going to be a physical game. It's going to be a battle, and it's one that uh, we have to prepare well for. Teddy, you've been pretty adamant about you don't care what it looks like. You don't care what the numbers look like. You just want the win. Yes, is that all a genesis from the injury, or have you always had that? Uh, it's a mixture of both. I feel like, you know, this is a tough game to play. And, you know, wins are hard to, to, to come by in this league. So whenever you can win, you don't want to take anything away from it, you know, because not every team is able to win. So um, for me, it's just about playing the game the way I play it. But uh, I am aware that, you know, you get down the red zone and things like that, you want to come away with touchdowns. Uh, you can't always win a game, you know, kicking four field goals. But uh, we did. But uh, we know that that's not how we want to win around here. So um, you know, there's some areas that we're going to continue to address and, and get better at. When you look at this defense, and I guess what stands out, stout in front, or what do you see when you see this group as a whole? Um, just having some experience with Todd Bowles last year in New York, I know that it's a complex defense. They do a lot. They give you a lot of looks. So uh, watching the tape, that's exactly what you see. You see the defense that's playing well. Uh, they're, they're playing well, stopping the run. Uh, they're doing some things up front to uh, give their guys one-on-one -on -one matchups uh, with the defensive line linebackers to you know, get to the quarterback. So uh, we understand that you know, it's, it's a complex defense, but we want to have a plan uh, to be able to uh, attack them. Stay good to the defense. Uh, can you just give us your thoughts on uh, Shaq, uh, Shaq there? Oh, man, when you see a guy with nine sacks in four games, you know, you have to, you know, highlight him. You know, uh, he's a guy who stands out on film. He also has an interception. So uh, he's a guy who's making plays on that defense, and, you know, we're well aware of him. And uh, we understand we have to know where he is on the field. Teddy, what is something you personally wish you were doing better or would like to improve after two games? For the most part, it's just finishing those drives with touchdowns. Uh, we understand that. You no, know, it's a, a four-point play when you're down there. You know, you either get a field goal or a touchdown. It's a four-point swing. So, um, you know, it's one of those deals where you just want to have that aggressive mindset, but at the same time, understand that you have points on the board. So, you know, when we get in the red zone, we just want to be more efficient. You've uh, obviously you played the end of last season in the preseason, but now you've played two full games. How is your body holding up? Is there any reservation now, or do you feel like, I know I'm ready to go, there's no doubt whatsoever? Uh, there wasn't any doubt from the moment that I was able to step back on the field. But uh, having to play these two games, you know, it just reassures that, you know, hey, your body can withstand, you know, whatever. So um, I'm glad that I've had this opportunity to play these two games and, you know, uh, just trying to make the best of it. How about things like timing and rhythm? How, how, is that something that did need one or two games or anything? Or is there any, anything that does? Um, you know, there's always room. There's always room for improvement and, and little areas that you have to improve on. But, um but for the most part, I think our guys and are doing you know what we're asking of them, and you know, I'm trying to do what they're asking of me. So um, you know, it's an overall team effort, and uh, I think we're you know doing a good job of uh, executing. How do you think that you have to get the ball down and feel more? Do you have to see more deep shots as part of the offense? <laughs> you sound like uh, <laughs> social media or something right now, but no. Um, I mean, your longest completion was 20 yards. Yeah. Game. I think it's a. It's a fair question. Yeah, no, it's definitely a fair question. But at the end of the day, we're winning football games. And, you know, we understand that there are, there are going to be shots, you know, and opportunities that you have uh, to take to push the ball down the field. But, you know, when you come back and you watch the tape and you realize that every time that we call the shot, Dallas called the perfect defense. It's one of those deals where it's like, man, you know, they just call the perfect play at the right time. So we understand that the past two opponents that we played also, they, they played to prevent the deep ball from being completed down the field. So. You know, we're aware of our opponents each week. We still want to take our shots when we call them. But, uh, you know, this week moving forward, we want to continue to just stay within ourselves and be aggressive. How was you Drew? got some shots on social media about that? Well, no, my mom, my mom <laughs> said something to me. I tell her, man, stop reading what you see, you know. So. How, how has it been with Drew back on the sidelines? Does he kind of leave you do your thing? Do you, like, a communication with him? Is he kind of a coach on the field? How, how was that the, the game the other night? Yeah, he, he's one of those guys who just, you know, leads me to do my thing. But um, if I have a question, you know, I'll run it by him. And if he sees something, you know, he'll, you know, run it by me as well. But, you know, when you're playing this game, sometimes you get so locked in 
Like when I watch Drew play, I feel like he's so locked in that I don't want to, you know, interrupt his routine and things like that. And maybe the same thing, you know, with when I'm playing. But uh, just to have him on the sideline, you know, that that pair of eyes, that experience, that knowledge, and understanding of the game is huge for me. Um, with with the shots downfield that you, you know you want to take, how much does that play? How much does I guess a mistake on the offensive line play in terms of getting behind the chains with penalties and, and everything else? Does that kind of affect your rhythm? Does that affect the offensive rhythm? Does it? I think overall we just have to be better. Um, starts with me, uh, starts with my tempo, and then, uh, you know, just executing, and everything else will take care of itself. When the team you're about to play scored 55, how do you process that in terms of what you and the offense may be required to do, or, or is, there any, is, it, is it playing any kind of feed in your mind, or do you just feel like every game's different and you're not going to let that game affect your play? Yeah, every game is different, but at the same time, we understand that we, we want to score, and we, we in order to win this game, you know, you need touchdowns. And luckily, we were able to win last week without a touchdown. But, you know, you play this game to win, and, and you, you play to, you know, execute. And like I mentioned, we have to execute better in the red zone, and it starts with me. Could you reflect real quick on what, you're, what you know about Sheldon from all your experience with him and kind of how he came back last week and the influence that he, you feel like he had on the team in that game? Yeah, Sheldon, uh, you know, just – I haven't known him since our college days. Uh, he's always been a guy who's just been quiet, he's going about his business, worked extremely hard. And to see him bounce back and return to the playing field last week, it was huge. Uh, huge for the defense to see a guy like him. We all understand what he went through last year, how much of a great season he was having, and it ended the way it did. But uh, to see him return and be out there with his brothers, with all of us, you know, it was huge for us.